In this InDesign tutorial, let's take a look at adjusting letter spacing. Now we can adjust tracking, which is the spacing between all letters, or we can adjust kerning, which would be the spacing between individual letters or a, a pair of letters, right? So let's take a look at adjusting the spacing between all letters. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. Now I've pressed the W key to get into a preview mode, but if we press it again, we'll see all of our bounding boxes. And if I select this top um, heading here, I could adjust the spacing between all the letters here just by selecting that or highlighting what I want to adjust. And um, you don't have to highlight, you can just select the entire text box. And we can look in our character panel. Now, if you don't see it, we can go to window, down to type and tables and character. And once we're in this character panel, we actually have two options. One is called kerning, that is individual letter spacing, and the other is called tracking. Tracking will allow you to change the letter spacing between all the letters at the same time and to the same amount. Now we can hold the shift key to jump much larger increments, in this case 25 at a time, or we can just click and that will do maybe five or 10 at a time, or we can set it ourselves or click this drop down arrow and select from this menu here. Now once you have this letter spacing set the way that you like it, we might still need to make some adjustments. Like when I look at this, I think the E is a little bit further away from the L, or at least visually it might be. So I could double click and just select between two letters, like for instance, this L and E. And then that's where this kerning comes in handy. So the letter spacing's already set across all these letters, but I might still need to make some custom adjustments. So I can drop this kerning down between these two letters, and that specifically changes between the L and the E. I can also hold shift to go in larger and smaller increments. All I had to do was click between the L and E and then make this kerning adjustment here. And so that's how we can bring different letters together. So maybe between the P and the A here, I could drop that down a little bit and I can make adjustments here. Now this is something you don't really wanna do for an entire paragraph of text, but if you have a header or you have some type of larger piece of text that you just wanna make a couple tweaks to, I think that's where kerning can come in handy, uh, but with a larger set of text, you just want to pick the right font and then maybe adjust some letter spacing things with the tracking and not the kerning, because that would be way too much individual kerning for an entire paragraph of text. That's how you can adjust letter spacing here in InDesign.